Coalition MPs are demanding changes to their own government's policy on renewable energy. They want aluminium smelters to receive special treatment, warning thousands of jobs and billions in profits are at risk. It's not exactly a backbench revolt, more a campaign. Coalition MPs fighting for jobs in their electorates and potentially their own. Headed by Liberal Dan Tian. It employs 5,000 people, provides $3 billion worth of export earnings for our nation. 25 backbenchers, almost a quarter of the coalition's lower house MPs, have written to the industry and environment ministers saying the target will cost producers $80 million. There is a good deal of feeling amongst the backbench. This is a divided government where you've got the backbench fighting with the front bench. But Environment Minister Greg Hunt has previously agreed the smelters exempt and is known to be sympathetic. They've simply made a, a suggestion uh, in relation to uh, altering it. Labor will no doubt seize on comments by Malcolm Turnbull about the government's struggle to convince voters of the need for a tough budget to repair the debt and deficit. If reform is getting more difficult, perhaps it's because we're not doing a good enough job at explaining the circumstances that, that give rise to the need for it. What are these called? Hey, Bill Shorten's begun his own campaign, writing to 14,000 providers, urging them to fight cuts to childcare benefits. That'll leave, he says, 500,000 families worse off. Never before has Australia been witness to such a massive attack on support for childcare for our ordinary families. Lane Kelcutt, Nine News.